WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 1 p.m. update. And currently got all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. The Dow's off 99 points, 35,000 is what it's printing at. The S&P's off 12, 4507 is where it's trading. 96 points to the downside in the index 100. That's six tenths percent. The Russell's down nine tenths or 20 points. Semis are off 52. They're the big loser to the downside, off one and a half percent. Trading out at 3367. Let's go spend a little time with our nine panel market update chart. As we begin, we take a look in the upper left-hand side. You've got the ES Mini. What do we know about the ES Mini? We know several things. One, we know that uh, it formed a TD9 count top. It did that on September the 3rd and since then, price has pulled back. Now, what price is doing, it's testing its first line of resistance from a profile standpoint, and that is the top of the daily profile, 44.98. That's the number you want to keep an eye on. If price were to close below that level, that then opens up the Kimona, and that Kimona would say price geek down to 44.52 or 44.62. 67. What you know right now is that the ES Mini is just testing support, the top of that daily profile. You got the spot volatility index, day number two above the 50 day exponential moving average. That is never uh, good. And uh, that uh, 50 day is at 1755. If we take a look at the NQ, new development or potential new development is what I should say. And that is a brand new profile. This profile forming above the prior profile. So that tells you about the bullish trend of the upside. Uh, the profile, I believe, has shifted a couple of times. I just got back in front of my my uh, computer system, spent some time over at the uh, doctor's office. In any event out here, you've got a new potential support level, 15,487, and resistance, 15,708. That's what's going on inside the NQ. Let's go take a look at uh, the U.S. dollar index. U.S. dollar index made its way up to where it should have, the top of that daily profile, because that was a bullish structured profile. It got up towards 92.91, an actual high today, 92.86 out there. So it's work to the upside may be done. Gold has held up pretty well today. Day. Uh, it is just simply trading and testing the support level of the center of its bullish structured weekly profile and the bottom of its daily profile. That's in the 1786, 1788 area. If price can hold that area and the U.S. dollar index backs off, and by the way, backing up would mean down to 92.35 or 92.07. If we take a look at silver, just consolidate, still above the top of its daily profile. So silver, strong like bull. During this uh, fairly decent move to the upside of the U.S. dollar index over the last couple of days, silver holding up well. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Ed Show. But if you're off to start your Wednesday, have a wonderful one, and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care.